Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Tuesday, March the 29th. I've got seven press releases for you, resources, financial reports for, for uh, annual filings, China, we got it all. Let's get straight to it. First up, new energy systems trades in the U.S. under NEWN on the Amex. Uh, they report their 2010 results, revenues up 295%, adjusted earnings per share, $1.46, beating all estimates. This is a manufacturing distributor of lithium, ion batteries, and portable power consumer products. Uh, I like this space. It's a great space to be in if you're a commodities and resources investor uh, because they're actually capitalizing on, uh, on, the, on these new metals. Uh, revenues up 259% to $94.7 million. Gross profits, $26.2 million. That's up 228%. Net income, $15.2 million. Uh, that's up 162%. Earnings per share, $1.18 versus $0.82 cents last year. Unbelievable. They hit it on all cylinders. Closed yesterday, $5.67. When you take into account EPS of $1.18, you're getting a company basically trading at five times, per, uh, uh, five times earnings. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that a lot of Chinese companies continue to get thrown out with the bathwater. You're going to have to be careful here, but these are great numbers. Do your own due diligence. Uh, love those numbers. As we always say, not everything that glitters is gold. Rushan Industries, which is a client of Agoracom, have to disclose that. But as always, we don't talk about our client news unless it stands on its own two feet. They announced record annual sales today of $3.2 million. It's for the year 2010. The company is a leading producer of advanced air and liquid cooling solutions for the IT industry. Highlights, $3.2 million in revenues, that's up 22%. Net income, up 121% to $197,000. Zero long-term debt and a mark cap of about $1.13 million. Uh, Gabe Bouchon, who's the chairman of the company, has th had this to say, our results allowed us to reinvest cash proceeds into production equipment while keeping our long-term debt to zero. You gotta like that when a small cap company can I uh, can put out that kind of result. Uh, this result also continues a trend of increased revenues and profits since 2003. Uh, take a look at the company's press release in order to get a link to the company's previous charts. Closed yesterday at five cents. Like I said, mark cap just $1.1 million. Next up, Euromax Resources, EOX. They reported an NI43101 compliant resource estimate for their 100% controlled Bresnik gold silver project in Bulgaria. They say the deposit remains open for expansion at depth. Uh, it looks like it contains an inferred resource, 2.4 million tons, grading 5.91 grams ton of gold, 26.8 grams ton of silver. That equates to 463,000 ounces of contained gold, 2.1 million ounces of silver. And they're saying they've commenced an active search for an appropriate joint venture partner to develop this resource into a producing mine. So I'm not sure if they can do it at half a million ounces of gold and 2.1 million ounces of silver, but perhaps they can. So do your own due diligence. Close yesterday, 35 cents, 10 on the low, 40 on the 52-week high. So congratulations to Mark Gustafson and his team over at Euromax. Uh, next, uh, uh, next up, Fission Energy. Like this company, Uranium Space, they've taken a hit over the last uh, month or so for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm following this one personally very closely. Uh, along with their limited partner, the Korea Waterbury Uranium Limited Partnership, they put an assay results for 14 uh, previously completed vertical step-out drill holes. It looks like hole 11, 131 intersect the strongest high-grade uranium intersection. Uh, uh, looks like 14.5 meters, grading 7.84% U308, including 2 meters, 46.15% U308. The company says drilling has now successfully traced mineralization further to the west, Further to us, connecting two zones, their J zone, uh, the J zone and the Highland zone. Closed yesterday, 78 cents, 52 week low, 39, so nice move there. 52 week high, $1.50 where it was, right around PDAC until we had the uh, tragedy in Japan. So this may be an opportunity to get into fission energy. Uh, next up, Indigo Exploration, IXI, announced inter uh, that they intersected 28 meters of 1.12 grams ton of gold. This is on their uh, Burkina Faso project in West Africa. Assay results from a further six holes of their 44-hole program. Uh, highlights uh, are that highlight, now the headline number I gave you. Uh, on top of that, 0.24 grams ton of gold over 32 meters, 0.24 grams ton across 30 meters. And they're saying Q3 
key points here. They've got a discovery of a new mineralized gold system, traceable for 500 meters and open in both directions. Closed yesterday, 37 cents, 15 on the 52-week high, low, 56 on the high. Mark cap looks like about $7 million. You got to like that number. Uh, so congratulations to Tim Henbury and his team over there. And finally, uh, take a look at some of the China news that we've got really quickly. Try China Transinfo Energy put out their uh, full year numbers. Go take a look at that. Stock symbol is CTFO. Revenue is $122 million. Net income, $15 million, 63 cents per share. Only trading at 488 as of yesterday. And a uh, quick note on SRL Auto Parts, which is trades on the stock symbol SORL, also put out their numbers. Uh, revenue of 41% to 199. Let's call that $200 million. Net income of 45.6% to 20.4 million. That's a dollar six. They closed yesterday 648. So again, you got a company trading in about six times earnings. But go to ChinaSecurities.com and get the full numbers there. That's a wrap. Uh, as always, if you watch this on Globe Investor, look for more great small cap resource news. Look below me or to the left of me to find the one that best suits your, your portfolio. Otherwise. Get to the front page of Agoracom if you're not already there. Watch the show. Uh, watch our sh previous shows on iTunes, YouTube, or your favorite video provider. Uh, take a look at the best headlines right on the front page and get into the marketplace to discover your next great small cap company. That's a wrap. Have a great day.